Anytime, obviously, the loss of life is going to be concerned, but it just seems like over in this area, Cumminsville, Millville, that the shootings are on the rise. And the question that everybody's asking, we want to know, the city wants to know, and there are a lot of families, even yet today, want to know why is it continuing to rise. Sadly, the number increased today with the shooting death of a young man near Borden and Weber. His family tells me the victim's name is Elijah Wheeler. They say he was only 21 years old. As grief and, yes, anger hovered over this neighborhood, police and community outreach workers are wondering how to stop what has become a disturbing trend in this area. And shootings are down overall, but it, there just seems to be certain areas where they tend to uptick every once in a while, and it's going to be our job to work with the community to try to, to, try to uh, limit that as much as possible. Yesterday, a similar scene just blocks away in Millville. The body of 50-year-old Ralph Whitehead was discovered. He too had been shot to death. And when you look at two days, two consecutive days that we have a homicide less than a mile from each other, we know we have a problem. We are going to bombard it. We're going to get out. We're going to walk the streets. We're going to talk to people and try to push a message of peace. Now, police were not able to tell me whether or not they think there is a connection between yesterday's murder and today's murder. But I talked to one woman and she said, she has a connection between the boat, between these two incidents. She is the grandmother of the victim tonight. She says she's also related to the man who was found murdered yesterday. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.